What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get to today's video, I just wanna show you guys, t-shirts have shown up. These things actually look amazing. Very high quality, nice, clean, simple, not too much, but get to the point that uh, this thing's a bad ride. It's got the 910 2 at 148.40 on there. Record holding 67 Corvette. It is December 28th. We just got these things. I tried to get them for Christmas, but trying to ship things around Christmas time is uh, almost impossible. You ordered the 67 Corvette t-shirt. Those are going out mostly today. Some maybe tomorrow. Um, the 69 Camaro t-shirt, this one right here. If you guys ordered it, um, we ran out of most sizes. Only thing I've got here is small and medium. Should be stocking back up. Um, they're supposed to ship out today, so hopefully next week. Things will be going out uh, very soon, so if you haven't picked up a t-shirt, hpdepot.com, go ahead and get you some, because most of these things are sold out. We're probably gonna have to place another order, but uh, we got a few of these things left, so hurry up and go grab those, but we're gonna get to the video. Today, we're going to dyno this 62 Corvette, which happens to be my grandpa's car. It has a aftermarket front suspension on it. I don't remember who makes it, but it's like a Mustang II style front suspension. Under the hood is a LS3. This is a crate LS3, so I think it's rated at 430 horse instead of the 425. Four thirty six. Four thirty six. That stupid air filter robbed thirty six horse. Wow. That's not too bad. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> he said that's enough. <laughs> we have the black L eighty eight on the dyno, and we are playing with exhaust. As you guys know from one of the first videos we ever did on the YouTube channel, uh, we put exhaust on the Camaro, picked up eighty horse. We had a set of chambered mufflers and we went to like a straight through design with uh, fiberglass. Uh, it's kind of like fiberglass packed internals. Um, yeah, we picked up like right around 80 horsepower. Uh, so exhausts on these cars are huge. And a side pipe exhaust is gonna stop right here to where a full exhaust is gonna go to the back. Um, this car actually had rusted out mufflers on it and which is one reason why this thing was down on power this year. Um, so we dropped the exhaust, put the side pipes on, and we picked up a good amount of power. But this thing turned out super nice. Guys, I made this exhaust just in like an hour without even having side pipe covers on it. Just whipped it out to where I thought they would kind of go and totally guessed it. Almost perfect. Behind me, we have Ed's 1969 L88 Cologne. Um, you guys have seen this car on multiple videos of ours. I don't remember if we were doing YouTube yet when I drove it but I actually won a race in it. Um, we were doing YouTube when Ryan drove it and Ryan won the race in it. And then just last uh, fall, my mom was driving it and she actually ended up winning a race. So this thing is super basic, super simple. Um, and it's actually been a 
super awesome car to us. So Ed has pretty much done everything he wanted with this combination. So it is now time to put a roll bar in this car, put a fast motor in it, and uh, get out there and try to go as fast as we can. All right, we almost have this thing finished up. I haven't fully welded it yet, but this will give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. So from the outside of the car, really can't see it. And you can see a few bars, but nothing crazy. You can kind of see them in the background because of the yellow floors and stuff. But once we get all the interior panels in, not gonna see it at all. But she turned out super nice. Door bars are in. Now these are gonna be swing outs. Quick update on what we've been doing. So this is a customer's car that I've been working on for a while now. And started putting a 25.5 bar in and I think we're going to end up going with a 25.3, which is gonna make this thing good to 650. My I dad, uncle and grandpa have been working on the 67. So here's pretty much how she sits right now. Um, it's got some glass in it. And right now they're working on putting the glass on the other side. So the thing is coming along nice. Dang, it looks really good in this camera. The color does. I really like the color of it. But we've started putting some things on the inside. Uh, my dad actually painted the floor and the firewall. Frame is over here. And right now we're just mocking up the front end to measure for shocks. Hopefully here very soon we can start uh, working on this thing and posting up some videos. This thing is still a real 427, 435 horse car, even though we're gonna cut it up and put a roll cage and stuff in it. We still don't wanna take away things like the dash and make it so that it can't go back to original. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, waiting on rear end parts. Oh, we got the little GM logo in there, look at that. Once we get this thing almost a pretty much a roller, we'll go ahead and put the body on and then I'll start building the roll cage and stuff like that. So we are down in Gatlinburg, Tennessee with the 2017 ZL1 Camaro. This is a Camaro that you guys watched us rebuild um, a couple years ago now actually. Um, had fire damage, something in the engine bay caught on fire and uh, burnt pretty much the entire front of the thing. take the old trans am for a spin this thing is almost finished and by almost finished i mean like 99 percent done everything's back in it runs good drives good and i mean it's not even been cleaned up really since the first time we cleaned it up have ever actually had to do this but when you start a burnout in first gear and want to shift to second gear and you gotta spin the column it's uh you got your hands full that's for sure there's the old black mark we just did not too shabby again oil on the road's helping it don't be fooled there's a quick view of what this thing looks like right now it's got new door panels on it this white is gonna be so hard to keep clean but i'm gonna try my best um Rebuilt the gauge cluster that is still the factory gauge cluster that uh, came in the car when we bought it. Man, it looks good. It's gonna look real good once we get all the white interior in it. But still, right now, this thing looks awesome. Sits good, it's got about the perfect stance. Main hoop fitting in here pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. 
I wish I wouldn't have gave it a five degree bend right there, but I so did. I've got this driver's bar fitting about exactly how it's gonna go in. It's touching a little bit right there, but I want to trim just a little bit off of here, bring the whole thing down, and hopefully end up making it fit just a little bit better back here. Everything fits fairly nice. Definitely got a lot of cleaning to do, but probably take this stuff all off and repaint it before I actually weld it all in. Um, we got the black Corvette here. I actually worked on it the other night until about six o'clock in the morning and got everything ready to come here. This is the motor you guys just saw make 750 to the tire. Pretty excited to come out here and try this out. Should be at the garage working on stuff, but uh, we're just doing it. This is a 67 Corvette Coupe. It's actually a real 427, 435 horse car that we are building into a L88 clone to run in the fast racing series. We've been working on this thing for about three weeks and this is pretty much where we're at. We're trying to leave in four days and this is exactly how the car looks right now. Interior wise, we're pretty much getting ready to button everything up. This is the car, not 100% complete, 99% complete. Um, you guys have not seen it this complete yet. It's got the interior in it, which is the seats that I cannot keep from getting dirty. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We've got a spot in here going for a ride. See the vacuum pump right there, which will be hidden by the back seat one day. I did not have time to put the back seat in it. This thing turned out super nice. It looked like it left good. What's 60 foot? You wanna turn it up more or you just wanna leave harder? Turn it up more. I, I think right. we got 11 out of it and it's all back in about two and a half seconds so we can um, but we're getting tires ready right now and we're going to show you the exact process that we do to get the tires ready. Ryan has already cut one tire and that's what it kind of looks like after. We'll start with what they look like originally. So this is a brand new tire. This is what they look like as soon as they come off the tire machine that we've got, which I'll show you here in a little bit, but we shave them down. We'll run this the way down the drop the hammer on the ground, and then uh, start going side to side. And next thing you know, we got a new to us, what we call slick pretty much like a lathe you just move the blade in and out what we're looking for is uh pretty much a smooth surface a little bit of tread in them we're gonna have to do a few big burnouts hopefully we don't get yelled at by the track staff But what I've got here is the perfect tire that is not so perfect anymore that I was running on the orange Camaro. No tread on it. You can see a little bit of the tread right there. Um, just to compare, that's what they look like when we start. That's what they look like when they're perfect. My mom actually drives this car and races it in the same class that we run the 67 in. Um, this is a 512 cubic inch big black Chevy. This thing is gonna be a high revving, big black Chevy. I mean, we're gonna rev it to probably somewhere around nine grand. Six mid-year Corvettes that have not seen the road in who knows how long, probably the mid 70s, that we are actually purchasing, loading up and taking home today. Right here. 
as you can see everything is complete and right there you can kind of see where that's why we believe it's original paint because there is no paint underneath there just the red primer so I don't know if you can see it or not but it's 8215 is the number and then go down here to the event number and it is Oh, that's a 9215 because we got 9215 right there. Last but certainly not least, the old 66 Big Black. She going in prime parking spot. See if we can't get her running first. We broke second gear in the transmission. No, we yeah, we did. It started grinding like crazy. It didn't unlock. No, it just started grinding really bad. I thought it came loose, but it's. I put it in third gear and it locked up again. The 67 has yet to make it down the racetrack. Um, it's only been to the racetrack once and it rained a bunch. Uh, I was actually working on that thing up until we loaded it about an hour and a half ago. It is the exact way you guys saw it in the last video of it. Uh, this thing had bad trailing arms on it. So we ended up going ahead and fixing the trailing arms. You guys saw us put a uh, 500, I believe 14 cubic inch motor was in that. I'm gonna have that ready, Go have that going tonight. And then we've got three other cars that we'll be racing this weekend. Third pass down, it went a 937. Fourth pass down, it went a, let's see if it'll focus, 934, 147, with a 1560 foot. That's a tenth slow. And my mom is driving the 69 L88, and then you've seen my dad in a black car a million times. And then Ryan is in the green 67 427. I did not shut the, the starter's junk. I did not shut the car off in the staging lanes. Jeez, good job. <sighs> good job. And uh, this is the starter we pulled off of. It spit the Bendix right out. This was laying on the ground. I was banging on the starter trying to get it to engage and it wasn't happening. 
Uh, but we went 144 to the 60, 596 and 118 to the 8th, a 118.98, almost 119. And then uh, 930 with a 2 at 146.34. But uh, this is my brother-in-law, Neil. We are in Three Rivers, Michigan at the airport drags. And Neil is uh, running this thing down in the slowest class possible here today. Uh, my dad's putting slicks on my mom's car because uh, we actually don't even have a good baseline for that thing yet. This is the time slip. We want 15060 foot, um, 608 at 117 and then 945 at 145. We are here in Norwalk, Ohio for the NMCA race. Going into Corvette. in a car that I've had that you guys have never seen before. A new type of racing and a new car for you guys. So what I got is my 99 Camaro. I'll explain how I got this in a little bit. Pretty cool story. And of course, I couldn't pass tech because you guys know these Camaros. You know the battery hold downs are always broke. So. got a lot of cars in our group right here 67 um dad's car larry kirkham finally made it you guys remember us uh, putting this motor in that car right over there last year you already watched us Reset the record to the 927 that we went. Um, and hopefully today the air is supposed to be a little bit better. And hopefully we can better that a little bit. I don't This is the one of 17 built 1969 L88 Corvettes with an automatic transmission. Car supposed to be green originally, he had it painted blue. And the wife hated the car, and I don't think he owned it very long. I've got the document, I think I've got the dates of when he bought it, which was a few months before. I think he had bought in that spring, and a couple months later, his wife told him, This car's got to go. RPO L88. Engine code 
MR. This one right here, the reason they had it underlined is 1968, was when they couldn't get this engine with open chamber heads to go to production because of the piston breakage, they carried through the um, engine from 68. The code on that for the manual transmissions in both 68 and 69 was IT. And as a matter of fact, the NCRS is waiting for me to give all this information to them and they're going to revise their standards for all these codes because there have been mistakes in this for years. But Got a new car you guys haven't seen yet. This is Griggs. He's out there <laughs> trying to kill bees. Somehow we got bees here and it's really cold out. But this is Greg, 66 Chevelle. Nice cool hidden two-tone cage to try to keep it um, as factory looking as possible. two qualifiers and then go right into eliminations um, but this place is freaking packed i mean there's a ton of cars here actually a good amount of cars in our class too i think right around 20. Three sixty foot high. 